Hi, I'm Ferris J, helping pets and their people to heal. This video is a response to a disturbing trend I have noticed of pets being stolen here in Ireland. A lot of pets are being stolen from people's gardens, to be resold as pets, taken over to England, some unfortunately for baiting. And I've seen so many posts on social media and it's, it's really touched me. It's really touched a tenderness inside me to think of those beloved pets being parted from their people. And in the work I do, a lot of it is, is helping people find emotional support. And so I'm making this video in case you are being really disturbed and upset by that. Because of course it's disturbing and upsetting. And I also believe that we can clear those emotions from our system so we can think clearer and, and then we can act from a different place. Now, in terms of actions, be really vigilant with your pets. They're even being taken from gardens. If you're out, keep them on a lead. Be very watchful. Be very watchful of your community as well. That's a practical step. I work a lot with emotions and energetics and I know for pet lovers, we have such a bond with our pet, even hearing of other people's pets. In this situation where they've been parted, it just brings up so much emotion. So if that's the case for you, I'm making this video for you. A disclaimer here, please take full responsibility for your well-being if you choose to tap along. I'm going to share a technique called EFT tapping, emotional freedom techniques. Please take full responsibility for your own well-being. This can bring up deep issues of fear or helplessness and you may be best off to work with a qualified practitioner if this is a really deep issue for you. That being said, you're very welcome to tap along taking responsibility for your own well-being. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you now to rate the intensity of your emotion. If you think about these pets being taken or if you've seen the posts on social media, rate the intensity of your emotion and, and tune into what emotion is that? What does it bring up for you? Is it sadness? Is it fear? Is it helplessness? For me, it was, it was, there was a helplessness there. So rate that number, pause the video and, and rate the intensity of that number. And also notice if there's somewhere you feel it in your body, because this is what's going to make the tapping specific for you and really help you clear your reaction on that level. So note those things now. And I'm going to do what I call a round of EFT tapping just to help release that reaction from your system. I'm going to say quite general words because I don't know your specific reaction. If you want to say different words, that's brilliant. Use this as a jumping in point. It's an offering to get people started. So let's get on with the tapping. It's so easy. You can follow what I say and follow what I do. And my intention here is just help to clear some of those overwhelming emotions that come up for you. Okay. Even though I feel so sad and helpless when I see all of these pets being stolen. Can you repeat after me? I'd like to let some of those feelings go. even though it's so disturbing to hear of all these pets being stolen. And it breaks my heart when I think of the people and their pets separated like that. How sad, lonely or scared those pets must be. I accept myself in all of these emotions. even though it's just so horrible and I don't know what to do about it. And it stirs up all these feelings, 
maybe outrage, sadness, anger, helplessness. I'd like to move forward with ease and let go of overwhelming emotions. Now we'll go to the tapping points. Just follow along with me. All these emotions, and you tune into what your feeling is as you tap along. When I think about those poor stolen pets, I have all these emotions. I might be feeling outrage, anger, sadness, helplessness. All these emotions. All these emotions. But this anger isn't going to help get them back. So I'd like to let some of it go. It's not helping me to feel angry or sad. When I'm feeling calm and balanced, I can respond differently. I can maybe be more helpful. I can take appropriate action. But when I'm overwhelmed and so emotional, that's not helpful to me. And it's not helpful to them. So I let go of these emotions. These excessive emotions, even if they're justified, I choose to let them go. I choose to find more peace for them. I choose to feel more peace within and to hope that these situations can be resolved. and to open to the possibility of miracles where these pets can be reunited with their people where this spate of theft ends where those animals are safe with their people where those animals are reunited with their people again. Okay. And you can take a breath and if you still have a lot of negative emotions I go down and tap with it again. You can rate your intensity again on that 0 to 10 scale. Now when you're feeling neutral you could then hold that vision of people being reunited with their pets of this spate of thefts ending. That can be really powerful like I was doing at the end, if you're in a neutral place, you can use tapping to amplify that. You can tap like this. I'm opening to the possibility of miracles. That these animals are reunited with their people again. The pets are safe again. that these animals get to go home again and be reunited with their people. I feel into the joy of that reunion of those pets back at home where they're meant to be. And I'm open to being a part of the solution to that. 
maybe with my awareness, maybe with posting on social media, even just with my energy, I hold that vision. I hold that vision of pets reunited, reunited with their loving people and pets being safe here in the future. I hold that vision and I open to those miracles now. Okay, you can take a breath. So that's an example of the kind of tapping you can do for that. I may make a separate video for people whose pets are lost. I know how disturbing that is. I will leave a link below this video when I do that. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope this has helped you if that has been really distressing for you. And it helps you be in a calm place where you can be part of the solution, where we can all do our bit to end this phase and help reunite people and their pets again. I've been Ferris J. Bye for now.